السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله Welcome to another Quran step We're carrying on with the ayah number 30 uh, We've reached up to here أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وإذ قال ربك للملائكة إني جاعل في الأرض خليفة So we've covered uh, the first part وإذ and mentioned O Muhammad Sassanam when قَالَ رَبُّكَ لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ Your Lord said to the angels. So now we'll carry on, inshallah, to إِنِّي جَاعِلٌ فِي الْأَرْضِ خَلِيفَةِ إِنِّي, indeed I. جَاعِل, to make. Indeed I will make. في, in or on. <coughs> الأرض, the earth. خليفة. Translated here as a successive authority. So let's look a bit more at this word Khalifa. First of all, what is the root verb of Khalifa? Root verb. The root letters are Khaf, Lam, and the Fa. So we get the verb Khalifa, Yakhlufu, or if you're saying Ana, Akhlufu. The command is Ukhluf, and the Master is a word that we all know, Khilafa. So let's take an example sentence. خلف أباه في مهنته صار أو أخذ مكانه خلف So if we're talking about a boy, he grows up and he's working with his dad in a business and his dad grows old and his dad retires and his son takes over. We can say خلف He succeeded أباه His father في مهنته At his business or at his place of work. So that's literally the meaning of the word khalifa. Hence you see the word successive coming in. Um, what does the word khalifa mean and is it related to khalif? So one who takes the place of another it literally is what the word khalifa means. And it is exactly the same meaning as the word khalif. But they say that the ta marbuta again is for emphasis. So it's like khalif with an exclamation mark. Khalifa. Um, is Adam alayhi salam the Khalifa only? Because in this ayah Allah says, "Inni ja'ilun fil ardi Khalifa." In talking about Adam alayhi salam, or does it apply to all his children who will come after him, and of course the prophets who are from his children? Waqil, let's read what Sheikh Tantawi says. Waqil, Adamu wa zuriyatuhu, and he says it applies to both to Adam alayhi salam and his children. لأنه يخلف بعضهم بعضا لأنه يخلف بعضهم بعضا because they will be the successive people who will come after and what do they do what do they succeed in في عمارة الأرض in establishing civilization on the earth and the rules and regulations that go with civilization which of course ideally should come from Allah سبحانه وتعالى if they are Vicegerents. Was taghna bi dhikrihi, and he didn't mention Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Didn't mention all the other successive generations, and dhikri dhuriyati he he sufficed by saying Adam al Islam, li kauni hil asl because he is the base. So if you mention the base, it obviously applies to everybody who comes afterwards. So a question that might come up is why is Allah Subhanahu wa Taala telling the angels this? In nija ilum fil ardi khalifa. Of course, it's not because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala needs to consult the angels, uh, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is explaining to us, really, teaching us through the Qur'an and how He expanded upon something new, that this is a process of discussion, and by that way He is br explaining what He's doing okay, to the angels. And this in turn teaches us that when we have a similar situation, if we are in a position of leadership or management, and we wish to bring about something, it is very important to consult and discuss. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has discussed this and put it forward to the angels, um, then it teaches us that we should also learn from this event. Another explanation as to why this is, is, uh, uh, is written is this. تَعْذِيمُ شَأْنِ majhul. See, Adam alayhi salam is unknown to the angels. And by mentioning him, by putting this question forward to the angels or putting this statement forward, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving him a great status and rank. And making it very clear that this thing that's coming is amazing. 
how bi dhikrihi fil mala il a'la by mentioning him amongst the angels qabla ijadihi before actually bringing adam al islam into creation wal wa laqabahu bil khalifa and also allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called him khalifa and this is like almost like a, a, a amazing title and so all of this shows the importance of adam alayhi salam uh, and that's what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is teaching the angels uh, what else can we understand from this ayah? So the ulama point out, uh, here is Sheikh uh, al, al Jazari pointing out, Istadalla bi hadihi ayah, they use this ayah as evidence for ala wujub, the obligation, nas bi khalifatin, to establish a khalifa lil muslimin for all the Muslims, yahkumuhum bi shari'ati rabbihim azza wa jal, who will rule the uh, Muslim nation by the laws of the Sharia, the law of their Lord, the Most High, Azza wa Jal. So this is a short lesson and one last thing I just want to show you is the plural of the word Khalif is Khulafa and the plural of the word Khalifa is Khalaif and you find these two plurals in the Quran, okay, uh, we have Audhu Billah from Shaitan Rajim. Ya Dawudu Inna Jalnaka Khalifatan Fil Ard. We see this word Khalifa. Eu uh, David, O Dawud, O David, indeed we have made you a successor upon the earth. And then we have the word Khulafa, uh, which is a plural of Khalif. Jalakum Khulafa Min Badi Qawmi Nuh. And remember when he made you Khulafa, successors after the people of Noah. So that brings us to the end of today's lesson. Wa akhiru da'wana alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.